Okay, so you have a picky eater. He's six years old. He's always been skinny. And what would I do? I'm so glad you asked. I'm a pediatric and family registered dietitian and a mama of three. I'm gonna try to keep this quick, but I did choose the three minute option because it's just not all that simple. So be sure to save this so you can return to it when you have time to listen. I also offer a food parenting course over at my website. Check that out if you wish. Okay, where do we begin? First, I'd really encourage you to change your language around it. Now, I don't know if you use the term picky in front of him, but I've heard a lot of parents call their kids picky eaters right in front of them. And this isn't helpful because they're going to believe you. They trust you, he loves you, they wanna be just like you, they believe everything for now that you say. So if you call him a picky eater, he's gonna think he's a picky eater. He's not a picky eater, he has high preferences and he's still learning about those foods. Next, I'd make sure he's able to eat the foods that you want him to eat. Some kids have some oral motor skill deficits. It doesn't mean anything other than they need a little bit more strength in or support or just some guidance in how to chew foods. If they don't feel safe eating the foods, they're not gonna eat the food. So making sure that you're offering them skill and age appropriate foods is important. Next, and this is a big one, eliminate pressure and praise. Now I know this is really hard because you mentioned that he's always been skinny and it seems like you've already got some kind of shame around his body and that doesn't help. So when you have a professional telling you, we'll stop pressuring him and praising him to eat, it probably feels really, really icky. But here's the deal. The more you push him to eat, the less likely he will eat. The more you praise him when he eats, the more pressure you put on him because he doesn't get that praise. He doesn't get that excitement from you if he doesn't take a bite. When we pressure our kids to eat, when we force them, pressure them, and praise them when they do eat, we are taking away their body autonomy. We are making them do things that they don't necessarily want to do. Now that is a whole other conversation and I dive deep into it in my food parenting course, but just a little snippet for right now. And my last little tip for today is always, always, always offer a preferred food. And I know some parents are like, but he's only going to eat that or she'll only touch that. I know, and for a while they probably will because you're building their trust. Preferred foods act kind of like a safety blanket. If they're looking at a plate with a bunch of new foods that they don't know how to eat, maybe they don't feel safe eating them, they're not gonna eat it. But if you offer them something, mashed potatoes maybe, or bread and butter, if you have that there, they know that they can fill their tummy. And when they feel safe and know that they can fill their tummies, eventually they'll be open to trying new foods. Follow for more and check out my website.